everybody, it's Christine. It is Friday. So I chose, instead of doing the best of 30 days of sketches today, um, I don't want to get anybody in trouble by mis misgiving credits or something like that. And I'm just, I'm not very good about doing it all proper ways and all that. So I'm just going to skip today. Um, not that I mind giving credit to anybody, but if I do it wrong, I don't want Christy to get in trouble because she's a lovely lady and that's just not fair to her. So I'm going to do Freaky, Freaky Frat. Whoa. Can I say that three times in a row? Freaky Fast Friday from the Scrap Room. Um, I do get their flavors of the month. Um, so, but I'm not going to use that here and I'll show you in a second. But the way this works is you take a 12 by 12 piece of pattern paper or cardstock for your base. And then you cut other color, other papers, those sizes. And I haven't done it, so I don't even know what it's going to look like. I haven't even mentally pictured it. So we'll see how that comes out. And I'll show you that, of course, when I get, I may do a little check in, let you see. But I want to use this May... 2022 hip kit collection because my mama loves pink and there's all kinds of pink in this stuff and florals I mean, she's just this is just my mama all the way and this is my mama and this is me as a baby She says I used to love to play with her hair and it's kind of I mean I can't see her face, but that's okay We know who it is and I remember this couch being if I'm honest with y'all It was like orange and brown. It was that 70s thing and I almost think this pillow, and she'll probably correct me down below if I'm wrong, but I want to say that might have been green. That's some kind of green shag pillow, I think, on this orange car, uh, couch. Again, she'll probably correct me, but if it isn't what it is, then she'll tell you. But it's been scanned in. That's why you see kind of these weird little things. But I love the fact that I have this little picture. Now, I also have the other thing I wanted to do is Miss Anna over at Peace Craft Love sent me some Happy Mail. I had been talking about how I had to use cheese knife for my goddamn multimedia and she was kind enough. She stuck two of these in the mail to me. So that was so sweet. So I'm going to share a link below to her shop. And uh, y'all go check it out. She's got great, you know, honestly, I've been shopping there. Probably I'm going to end up spending more money than I'm supposed to at some point. But anyway, she's got good stuff over there. And she's got like new releases. And actually on Fridays, it's $5 Friday. So if you see this today, go check that link out. You'll see something in there for $5 or some stuff. But I'm going to use that. And I think I haven't decided because I have this really pretty... Mm, it says silver something, something, but it's kind of a rose goldy color. But then I also have this kind of silvery, creamy color, and I don't know yet which I would do. So I'm going to set those aside. And then I had picked up these stencils at the convention, and I'm thinking maybe one of these, but honestly, I don't even know on this yet. Don't even know on this yet either. This is just what I kind of would like to use, because I, I kind of want to use these this palette knife and see how this works for me, because I've been using that cheese knife, and it's not nice. So I'm going to try that. And, of course, there's these little wood frames, letters, and then these ephemeras. I chose it because there's this little happy little moments, and I think I can make that work. So, <clears throat> let me stop talking. I'm going to cut these papers into the shapes it says, and I may come back on here and check in once I get that done so I can show you what I did. Um, all right, let me get that done. Okay, everybody, I have cut the four pieces of paper. So, this is my background at this point. Pretty sure I'm sticking with this. This is the background. This is the 6.25 by 11.75 inches. This is the half inch by 11.75. And the cool part is that's just the perfect size of a branding strip. So I can use that. And then I have the 6.75 by 4.75. And I think I'm gonna do it like this. And then I have a 3.75 by 4.75, right? So I think I'm gonna go like this. I did take my photo. I did go ahead and mat it. These are all scrap papers. These are not from the collection because y'all, I couldn't bear to cut the collection just for photo mats. <laughs> so I think I'm going to do something like this. Um, <laughs> do I bring that down? I'm thinking something along these lines because I think what I'm going to do is take the stencil. I'm going to make some paste is what I'm kind of thinking. Do I do this? Y'all, I'm not sure. Or, yeah, I kind of want to come up, I think. But if I do that, I need to come down too because I need some kind of continuous thing. So I might come like this, I think. And so maybe I'll do something with this shape here. It's the one on the front. I may do that. And use the, I think I'm going to go maybe with this silver here. I need to kind of put it on. I need to kind of pull it out and put it against the paper, but that's what I'm thinking. And also I think I'm gonna ink the edges of these with um, with gray, just to give it a little something. I may, oh gosh, y'all, now I say that, I may have to, I may have to scuff it. 
I don't know. I need to think about it. Uh, let me start kind of doing that piece of it and I'll come back on a second. I'll actually speed it up so you can kind of watch. Okay, everybody, here comes the fun part. I've got my stencil and my new paste here and I've got my fancy little um, palette knife that Miss Anna sent me. And I'm just gonna take it and kind of smear inside this stencil. And remember I had those marked as to kind of where the pictures were gonna go. And I just kind of smear it around. It is way easier to use for sure than my cheese knife. <laughs> Um, I'm able to, to just, you know, more flexibly um, smooth it around. I can kind of, you know, smush it down in the edges a little bit. Now, I still kind of end up with an edge over there, but that's my fault because I laid that stencil down kind of funny, and I just kept on going with that pace. So, <laughs> that's okay. I'm going to end up putting something up there to kind of make it look a little less um, what, crisp, I guess, of an edge. But I still love this paste. It is so pretty. So, I did that upper right area down up there, and I'm going to come down this lower left area. Now, the cool part is the background has a little bit of a mixed media look to it. So it looks like I'm kind of layering mixed media over mixed media. And in a minute, I'm going to actually go and get something else that I have to put over the top. Now, this is kind of wet. It does take a little bit to dry. I do get it all over my hands because that's just how I am. <laughs> and the sad part is I pulled out that craft mat and I still managed to smear it on the table. Anyway, I decided to go there and get a couple pinks out of my Lindy Stamp Gang. And I'm just going to sprinkle those. I'm kind of high up in the air because I just want it to be real random. And it's real pretty. I really like it. It's got that shimmer in it. So I got my shimmer in my paste. I got my shimmer in my ink. And then I'm going to um, do that in those two little spots there. And then next I'm going to come in here. That's in my second color. The pinks honestly are very close in color. One is called like cotton candy and the other one's like... I don't even know what it is, something else pink, but they're very, very close in color, so I'm not going to sit here and tell you can really tell the difference too much, but it made me happy to use two colors of pink. <laughs> so I'm just showing you the shimmer on that so you can kind of get a sense of it. Now, what I've done at this point is I've gone ahead, I had showed y'all the, the papers, and I glued the, the blue down with the branding strip, and then here's where I kind of cheat, y'all. Um, but I saw Shannon over at She's Crafty do it, so I'm going to say, like, it's okay, it's in the rules. I don't know if it's in the rules. It doesn't really say yes or no, I don't think. I cut them to make them a little bit wide. <laughs> I just felt like I needed a little more length. And so I've cheated just a little bit. So they're no longer, I guess, technically. I mean, technically, I don't have the, they are still the same length kind of, but but they're not. You know what I mean? Um, anyways, I'm scuffing the edges of these papers as well. So I did scuff the edges of the branding strip, and then I scuffed the edges of the, of the edge of the bottom of the blue one. And now I'm just kind of scuffing the edges of these um, the black and white little polka dot and then the pink floral and I'm going to attach everything together here and just create myself a little um, I guess this is kind of an L design. I'm not really sure. It just feels like an L to me or T maybe more of a T Anyway, I'm going to attach all these things together to be fair. The pink one Doesn't have too much gap between it. So it's almost the right length. It just added just a tad more See there. It's not terribly far apart but anyway, I did add some length in there just by cutting those apart. So, I don't know. Y'all can say I'm cheating or not, I suppose. But at the same time, I think it's just meant for creativity, right? It's not actual contest or anything. So, anyway, I fast around with this because for whatever reason, I'm, oh, I know what it is. I think I was, no, it's not still wet. In my head, I'm thinking it was because it was still wet on there. But no, it's, I don't think it's that. I'm just, I'm just being fassy with it. So anyway, I'm just kind of messing. I did decide I wanted a little bit more on the, a uh, little bit less, I'm sorry, on the left side. So I bring it in and a little bit more on the right side. So I bring it out and then we'll set that down. Now, I think this looks real cute. I've got this all put together. I am going to end up pulling out Happy as my title. I showed y'all that. Now, what was so sad, I pointed you out in the beginning, I had said Happy Little Moments or something like that. Well, I've already used Little Moments. So Little Moments is gone. So it's just Happy. But that's okay, because I've got, um, there's a couple little pieces in here that reference mom, and so I pull those pieces out. And I kind of feel like I need to journal. I haven't done it yet. I feel like, she because she makes the comment that I used to like to play with her hair. So I'm kind of debating on adding that as journaling somewhere on here. Um, I haven't done it yet. I've already taken the pictures, but I could certainly add a little sentence or two underneath the, on the right-hand side or something like that. I don't know. I may just write on the back, because I hate to, <laughs> hate to mess up my design, but I can still want to capture the story about she says, I used to love to play with her hair, and I clearly have her hair in my hand wadded up. So, it's funny. I'm looking at the picture, and I'm staring right at her hair, too. <laughs> I imagine I was about a month. I was probably about two months old there. I don't even know. She could probably tell me. I'm contemplating a couple of little phrases, but I decide against them. 
And in a second, I'm going to end up putting, I'm kind of just looking for embellishments at this point. I'm looking to see, okay, how can I organize this stuff? I know that tile is going to go up there. I think I tried it at the bottom at one point, but I said, no, it's not where it goes. It needs to go at the top. And so I'm going to, um, I don't think I've done it yet. I think I did it here at the end. I'm just picking up, I'm looking, I kind of even debate on this. There's a, something that says like, you're my cup of tea. And I thought about that because it's kind of cute, but then I thought, no, I'm still kind of taking away from my happy, and that, that's not really the message, you know, I don't, that's not really what I want to say, so I did like this one piece, though, it says, mom, you are incredible, and I, I made sure I wanted to use that, so that stayed on that layout, even though I move it around a couple of times, and there's where I'm looking at that little teapot, it's real cute, but it's just not really for this layout, so here's now where I've decided, okay, I'm gonna put my happy up on foam tape, and that's gonna go right above the picture, and at this point, I've also pulled out these butterflies. Now, I didn't—I don't think I showed you all these, or I might have. I'm sorry, I forgot now. But they were black and white, and they're on fabric. Now, I have, at this point, already colored them. I decided, <laughs> I was looking at them, and I thought, I'm going to color them gold. And I pulled out a gold marker and everything, and I thought I could show you, but I got busy coloring, and I forgot to put the camera on. So, anyway, I just colored in some of the wing pieces with some gold marker. And then I thought the back of it was sticky. I thought, oh, I'll pull off the head. He's, I don't think it is. I couldn't get it off. So I just decided to start gluing everything down. And then I also, in the kit I showed you, there's a little wood veneer pieces. There's a little frame that said Amazing Mom. So that was perfect. I was really excited about that. So I layered that on the right-hand corner over there with a little bitty pink swirly looking thing. I think it's supposed to be a cloud maybe. So I got that over there with that little butterfly. And then lower left-hand corner, I've put Mom, You Are Incredible. That's going to go up on foam. And I'll also end up putting another one of my little butterflies next to it. I'm just kind of building out a little um, clusters here. I'm gonna put that little butterfly there. I don't think I do this yet, but I will come back in with some more wood veneer in a minute because I don't want just the one wood veneer. I just knew that I wanted that that piece there where I have it because I really enjoyed having that there. This, the, cur the picture on the far right side is a little bit dead. Like there's not really anything going on. All the action's on the left-hand side of the picture, but I didn't want to cut it because I think it's still kind of interesting with that weird little pillow and stuff. <laughs> So I left it in there and I just decided to cover up some of that space with that little wood veneer picture there, picture frame looking thing. So on these butterflies, I am putting some of the wings, or I think I put pretty much all the wings on foam tape and then I use a glue dot um, in the little middle body part. And I stick this other little uh, butterfly up there on the right, kind of where I have that straight edge where I didn't really do the stencil just 100% right. And it just adds a little bit of interest on the edge there so it's not so straight looking. I don't really add anything else to that up there on the right-hand side with that butterfly. I thought about it. There's other little things I do later that I thought, well, should I put that there? And I go, no, no, I like you just like who you are. He's got him some paste and some sprinkles to hang out with, so it's okay. All right, so now I have my happy. I have my little frame. This is where I'm looking at those wood veneers. Now, I struggle just a bit because when I start pulling them off, for some reason, these particular pieces, they, lose their, they leave their adhesive behind, and I have to pick it back up. <laughs> um, I put a teeny little frame on the lower left corner of uh, where that little Mom You Are Incredible piece is. And I really like how this is turning out. Now, I did have to cut back my foam tape that I had stuck up underneath there because I didn't think about, well, I didn't have it originally planned to put anything right there, and so I had to put the foam tape, so I had to cut it back. But I really like how this wood veneer looks right there. Um, and then I'm going to find another little frame. Honestly, I probably should have cut these too because it's they're good little frames, and I used the whole frame, and I probably didn't have to. On the other hand, I've got <laughs> so much stash, it might be silly to... To start cutting stuff just yet but i find another little frame to go up above happy that's got little hearts all around the frame and i thought that was really pretty i think i'm just looking there it is but see i go to pull it off and the adhesive kind of sticks to the plastic it was so weird i don't know i don't know why to do that but i put it back on it worked just fine i mean when i sit it back down it, it works fine i must have just not held my mouth right y'all my mama came over just a few minutes ago too she brought me some boba tea i sent her a text i said hey what are you doing and she says, I'm sitting here playing a video game with Tim. And I said, she goes, wow, what's up? And I said, well, I really wanted boba tea, but they don't have it on the DoorDash anymore. Can you bring it to me? <laughs> you know, your mama loves you when she'll get up out of her seat and go get you a boba tea just because you asked her to. I love my mama. Anyways, um, so here's where I found this other little piece. It was so cute. It's a little teeny little piece of wood veneer, and it says, love you so much. And I put that right above that little butterfly above uh, in that lower left corner down there. So now I'm kind of looking. I'm going to have any other ephemera I want to use. This is how I kind of do, y'all. If you ever watch me, you'll see me do it. I'll kind of poke and pick and touch and look to see, is there anything else I want? Nope, that's not going to stay. I kind of like that little fishtail banner, but he doesn't have a home, so he's not going to stay either. And then I looked at that heart, and I said, nope, you're not going there either. So I run over to the enamel dots bu bucket, and I had these little bitty uh, enamel hearts here. So I put one in each of my little spots. 
my lower left, my little picture frame cluster, and then above happy there. And that's all I'm going to do to this layout, y'all. This was so fun. I guess it was freaky fast, right? Here's the slowdown. You can kind of see the shimmer. Sorry about the sunlight. It's just afternoon now, so that's what happens. Y'all have a good one. I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Don't forget to check out the link below from Miss uh, Anna's shop there because uh, she was nice enough to send me something, so I'm going to share her link all day long. We will talk to you later. Bye.